What's up, Z Nation? Today I have a new special video. I'm tired of going onto YouTube and typing top MMORPGs and then the weird anime pay to win mobile MMORPGs that obviously are advertisements are on the top leaderboards. So today I'm creating a real top five MMORPGs for mobile in 2019. Ancients Reborn is a great mobile MMORPG. It has everything you can want from mining, player versus player, killing bosses, going doing raids, having a guild. This is a great mobile MMORPG. Oh, and we found my old account! Level 38, I am still on this game, guys. I haven't played this in so long. It is such a fun game. If I remember right, it's just a it's just a hit. This is a fun mobile MMORPG, and I can just see myself getting back lost into this. Koi Online. Now, this is a great mobile MMORPG, and I'm sure most of my subscribers already know that I have been playing this game for a long time. I still actively log on and try and just see how the community's doing, what they're doing, what are they leveling, what's the new stuff. There is a couple of new things like the new town. Uh, Ricardo and has built up this new town, so now there's new cities. The new updates are great. It still isn't enough to bring me back of two years of no development. So I can't really blame the developer to, to like wait for two years. But now, now that the map's here, it's great. Um, I guess there has been active developments in the game since this release, and Ricardo has updated a lot more stuff to Recoil Online. It's a great mobile MMORPG. Now, number three is the current one that I'm playing right now. It's Curse of Eros. The reason I don't play the top two as well, I don't make videos on those games because the top two are the top two for a reason, and you guys will see it. Now, Curse of Eros is a great mobile MMORPG, still in early development, but still, look at this player base. It is absolutely active and people are on all of the time, especially now the developer Bart has implemented task boards, kind of like a quest list that you have, but it keeps repeating with different quests based upon your level. I'm level 73. I have been playing this game. It's a fun mobile MMORPG. There's a lot of monster bosses. There's PVP active development like i said and the game is just growing and growing when we, i first started playing this game there was only one monster to kill it was very st slow number two in my top mobile mmorpgs the reason i'm recommending this to you nothing like those pay to wins that you see mobile mmo bite making videos on the guy doesn't even play mobile mmorpgs he shouldn't be talking about it if you want to play a game that is truly open world great pvp awesome crafting, house building, pets, mounts, everything you could want in a mobile MMORPG, Utopia Origins has it. Most people when they play a mobile MMORPG are looking for a game that they could build a character up and become top player in that game. What this game provides is that possibility. There's a level, if you can look on the top, there's a level, I'm level 44. I've played this game, I've spent so many hours in this game and has a vast map. So right now it's green, so it'll allow me to place. And boom. I got a house! It's a hearth! And it already has all my stuff in it. You can place it anywhere on the map. And what's great is this is all open world. So people playing in this can come into my house and hang out. Or I can have battles, arenas. You could set arenas in here. This is a true sandbox MMORPG. This isn't that crap that mobile MMORPG bites or whatever their name is, tries to give you. I'm actually showing you guys great mobile MMORPGs that you can get involved. There's a heavy community here. You could talk in chat. You could talk to everybody, the whole world. What's up? You could talk to anybody on this server. There's tons of different servers. It's kind of like World of Warcraft in that point. But this is as close to Ultima Online as you can get. If you guys know, Ultima Online is a real old sandbox MMORPG where you can ride pretty much any mount and have houses. This is pretty much like that, except for it has a world chat. The graphics are better than Ultima Online, and this is a mobile game. I need to play this some more. It's such a game that you can get immersed in. It's a game that you could play for hours and hours, but it only feels like 10 or five minutes have gone by. It's a great game, and I don't know why people don't recommend this. But moving on to RuneScape. 
a game that I've grown up on, probably plenty of you guys have grown up on, and you guys already know about this game, so you know if it's in my top one, you should probably go re-download the game and start playing it, because this is the most active mobile MMORPG, and everyone pretty much already understands the battle system. Look at this, this doesn't bring it back. You know me. I played you my whole childhood. I don't, I don't have that email anymore. RuneScape, I don't have that email. Your account has been disabled. It happens, guys, I, I don't know why. I, <laughs> it just, it just happens. Oh yeah, a good way to play mobile games on your PC is through an emulator. You can look up emulators, but there's two very good ones. There is Blue Stacks right here what what my homeboys i like to use nox most of the time but uh sometimes uh, nox doesn't want to play the games i want to play blue stacks always got my back blue stacks will tell me the truth of what game i could play here we are the regular tutorial that you guys all know and love from the beloved old school runescape with its old school music let's take a listen <laughs> now what's great about RuneScape Mobile is it intertwines with the PC version. So people playing on PC are also playing with people on mobile. So it's the same servers that they're running through. So you could play RuneScape on your phone and be playing with your grandma who's on her PC. PC is dying, guys. It's dying. It really is. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is, of course, Ashton Z, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully, uh, this is also a message to people who make content for mobile MMORPG gamers such as myself. Maybe make, like, your top 19 or top 10. I know you got to fill up those top spaces with something, but instead of pointing at advertisers, you should be pointing at what the game actually consists of. Does this consist of something that do mobile MMORPG gamers actually like paying 300 plus dollars to be the top player? No. No one wants to have to pay money to be the top player. Mobile MMO Byte is uploading top 10 videos. It just doesn't make sense. I, I watch those. I've downloaded some of those games and it, there hasn't been one single time where I've uninstalled that game. I have always uninstalled the game that MMO Byte has recommended. So hopefully today I have cured that and fixed you guys up with some pretty good games. I'll see you next month. Thanks for watching. My name's Ashton. Bye-bye.